Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, we're going to use the Rooted in Nature stamp set. This double set right here. And we're going to make this card using a little bit of a watercoloring technique on some of these leaves. We've got some fun dots here. We've got a popped up sentiment and I've got some really awesome shimmer all over the whole thing. So uh, let's get into this. But first I wanted to mention that I do have an online class available for the Rooted in Nature bundle. Um, uh, the recommended pieces are the uh, stamp set and the uh, die set and the paper. The class is $20, or you can get it free with um, the purchase of some bundle pro bundled products that I have on my blog, and you can get them at barbstamps.com. Link is right there. Okay, let's get started on the card. We are going to start out by doing some stamping. So I've got Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green, Crushed Curry, and some Cajun Craze. And I just got ink on the bottom of that, so we're going to clean that off. All right, I've got a piece of scrap paper here because I'm going to do some stamping off a little bit. So we are going to start with the Calypso Coral and this large leaf here. I'm going to ink that up. We're just going to stamp a few of these random leaves in a few different spots on this piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to bring in my aqua painter. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of water down into the tip. Oops, I need my paper towel. I got a tiny bit of excess water here. And then we are just going to blend this ink. You see how nice that is? So the leaf kind of goes from being a skeleton leaf to kind of a filled in nice full colored leaf. It's a super easy technique. It takes no, um, no skill or anything like that. I guess the hardest thing is to stay in the lines. That's my hardest problem anyway. And that is it. And then you just kind of clean that off just a bit. And then we're going to come in with, let's see, the small leaf in crushed curry. And we're going to stamp, let's see, where do I want to stamp these? I'll stamp one here, stamp one up here, maybe one down here at the bottom. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we'll squeeze a little bit of water down into the pen. And then again, we're just going to blend with the water and the aqua painter. Isn't that cool? It's just a really simple way to add extra color to your projects. All right. Next, we're going to come in with the granny apple green. And we're going to do the same thing. Sometimes I like to rotate my stamps so they're not always going the same direction. And maybe we'll do a partial leaf right there. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Swirl that ink around a little bit here. It's just really fun, I think. Again, just try to stay within the lines. That's my hardest thing. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this little sprig here and then we're just going to add a few little sprig images in the Cajun craze. And just kind of go around the thing, adding sprigs where we think we might need a little bit of that Cajun craze color until it looks done. And maybe like that. I think that's probably going to work. All right, I'm going to close up my ink because I always tend to make a mess if I have ink setting out. Okay, actually I'm going to need these two, so we'll put those aside. All right, so next step is to get the stamps out of the way here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to spritz this with a concoction of 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. You definitely want to get the 70% for this technique. Um, anything higher than that can cause the paint to get gummy and it will clog up your spritzer and then you'll have a mess. So I filled my spritzer up about three quarters of the way and then I'd put in, I don't know, five or six drops of the paint. I just sort of used a little dropper. I have a little like medicine dropper and I just squirted about five or six drops in here. You shake it up really well. And then we're going to spritz this. So I need to get scrap paper. 
just to kind of cover my area a little bit while I'm doing this spritzing because I don't want to make a mess everywhere. And then we're just going to make sure that the nozzle's pointed away from you because I've squirted myself in the face before. And then you just start spritzing the whole thing just like that. And then you get this really awesome copper sheen and it also has the shimmer to it. So super cool. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside and let it dry. And then we're going to move on with some other parts of the card. Normally what I would do when I'm done is I would hold it upside down in the sink and I would get all the rest of the residue out of my uh, spritzer tube there. Um, so I'll do that when I'm done. It just helps clean it out. All right. So I did take a couple of my uh, layering ovals framelits. These are both what I call number five, meaning I number mine with a Sharpie starting in the center with number one and we're working my way out. So these are both the number fives. And we are going to stamp a sentiment. And I have a sentiment here from the Country Home stamp set that says, simply thankful for all the good things. And I'm gonna ink that up in Cajun Craze and I'm gonna try to stamp that right in the center of this oval here. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Chamois here and I'm gonna clean this off. Okay. And I'm gonna ink it up in the Calypso Coral. And then I'm just gonna stamp that. Really all I need is the word thankful out of this color. Right. And then I am just going to cut the word thankful out. So I'm going to speed up the video while I'm doing this because this takes just a few minutes. All right. Then we're just going to add this to this layer here with some mini dimensionals. I'm gonna use my take a pick tool here. I'm gonna use my piercing tool end. Just because these little ones are kind of hard to get off the sheet sometimes if you don't have a fingernail, which I don't really have fingernails. So I kind of, not that I chew them, but I just don't have any. All right, peel off the little backing pieces. And then all we're gonna do is lay this right on top of the color, the Cajun Craze. Okay. Next, we're just going to layer this to the Granny Apple Green piece. Try to get that in the middle. Sometimes I have to bring it up closer to my eyeballs because I don't see that great. Okay, got that done. Our next step is going to be to color a piece of ribbon. So you can see I've already got some Blackberry Bliss on there from another project, so we're just going to cut that off. And I'm going to bring in my Dark Cajun Craze Stampin' Blend Marker, and this is our uh, metallic edged ribbon, the white. And if you just run your brush tip down the center of this ribbon, it just colors it. So you can have ribbon any color you want in any Stampin' Blends markers that we sell. So. I just think this is amazing and I just love doing this. I love adding nice colored ribbon and this ribbon is so pretty anyway. And being able to customize it just makes it even better. So of course you can buy this ribbon in my online store. All right, we'll cut that off. Get this out of the way, get the ribbon out of the way. We're done with all this. Put the lid on my take your pick tool. All right, so here is our main layer. Now I did have to dry that a little bit with my heat tool as it um, didn't, it wasn't completely dry. So I'm gonna take my ribbon now. And I'm gonna just wrap it around the card here, about right there. Take it to the back. About like so. Okay, this I'm going to add with some dimensionals. Here we go, got some dimensionals. All right, we're just going to put this right over the top of the ribbon. Mm, about 
like that. Okay. Bring in our Calypso Coral Card Base here. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm gonna fold that in half. Use a bone folder to get a nice crisp fold. And then I'm gonna bring in my liquid glue. And since this was wet and then I dried it, I really wanna go around the edges good on this paper just to make sure that it's gonna stick really well. Okay. And then we're going to add this so that it's in the center of the card. Okay. And then I'll just give that a nice press. Good. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in some of our glitter enamel dots and I'm going to change the end on my take your pick tool to the spatula and then I'm just going to pick off some of these little guys because you can just get right underneath that adhesive there with this little spatula and I'm just going to add a few right around my card here. Kind of go with that granny apple green theme we got going on here a little bit. Okay, and there it is. It's all done. So we've got that wonderful shimmer from the uh, copper paint mixed with the alcohol. We've got the watercolored leaves. We've got the colored ribbon. We've just got a lot of stuff going on on this card. So here they both are. Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you need to order any supplies, you can get them at shoppingwithbarb.com. I always offer free gifts with purchase. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down here in the corner. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I uh, thank you guys so much for watching this and have a great day.